Hey, what's going on guys? Code Mike Kings here. In this video, we're going to be applying our move ordering uh, to the search to see how how significantly faster it would be after. So, but before that, I just want to get rid of this unnecessary print statement. And now let's go, let's scroll down to where our debugging code starts. I just want to command out this unnecessary stuff. But not deleting this because we would have been making use of it later on in the next few videos. And let's search the position. And let's actually drop back to CMK position, the one that we were testing. And I just want to open the terminal in the current working directory. And by typing BBC, oh, sorry, make, make debug and if it compiles run the bbc binary executable so let's have a look how many nodes we're supposed to be having here from from the last uh... okay so uh it's kind of two million nodes with uh, uh with a depth of three but we don't really have that many captures here I just want to show you that if we go to the position containing even more captures it would be so long that well, it would be just too long so if we just change this uh, CMK position back to tricky position and let's go only the search depth of one I just want to show you what a disaster is gonna be happening here so remember that that the uh, here in this position we had the depth of three and two million nodes and in this position assuming that we have uh, more captures even at the depth of one we have already a million nodes which is really too much so uh, it would uh, but uh, this is not even like the most possible number of nodes uh, because if we add one little line of code to our chess engine so let me just try to find uh, the Nigmax search and here just right after uh, this in check variable definition, uh, we, uh, so uh, there is an issue uh, if your ch if your engine doesn't increase the depth in case when it gets into a check, uh, most likely it would get made it even even if it uh, calculates kind of two plies deeper compared to your opponent, and that that's exactly what happened to my engine when it was playing versus TSCP uh, initially uh, when I was testing all, all this mobile run stuff. So the idea is just simply to give uh, an extra uh, an extra ply to a chess engine by increasing the depth every time it, uh, the kin has been exposed into a check, regardless of what kin it is actually. So uh, I want to increase search depth uh, if the kin has been exposed into a check. So if uh, in check depth plus plus and if we just compile around the code again it should be given even more number of nodes compared to this number because it would be searching even deeper assuming that here uh, well, we might have some some checks but okay it didn't because yeah it didn't because we didn't really have any checks but uh, well, just trust me, if, if, if we did search this for, uh, well, how many, so, one, two, three, at the depth of four, yeah, where it would be taken this rook and promoted the piece, it would get more nodes, just, uh, this would be just too slow, so uh, uh, I, I can't show you this just right at the moment, but you just, just, just trust me, so this depth would be increased but here at the depth of uh, at the depth of one we don't have any checks that's the reason why the number of nodes is still the same but that's not the point so uh, it's kind of too long and say the uh, the this CMK position uh, at the depth of three was uh, uh, it took two million nodes and this one containing containing even more captures uh, but with only one node depth it takes so many so many nodes due to the lots of captures occurring there okay so anyway uh what what i want what I, what I want to do now is actually to show you how we're supposed to be decreasing the number of these nodes traversed within the next few videos well not sure how how how, how many videos would it be there but the idea that 
within the next videos we're going to be reducing the number of these notes uh, being traversed by our chess engine using the movable ring and some search optimization techniques so uh, let's go back to our Nigamax search and here uh, right after uh, the generate moves and right before uh, the loop over the move list uh, it's, it's the exact place uh, where we can put our third moves function assuming the particular impl implementation of the third moves how uh, we done that well usually people uh, do this on the fly here within the uh, within the loop of the over the move list but that that is avail that option is available in case if the move is getting scored within the move generator uh, and then then it's work but uh, as far as that that is that approach is not modular I don't really want to go that approach go, I don't really want to go that way so uh, I'm doing this completely from scratch within its own loop like so have a look at the sort moves again you see like uh, we just make a loop over current move and the next move within the sort moves routine so no need to make use of this sort of uh, of this sort of of a loop over the, over the moves within the Ningamax search. So what I want to do here, I just want to sort moves uh, within the Ningamax search and just call the sort moves here. And also I want to sort moves in the quiescent search uh, and make it right over in here, the same place, sort moves. And well, uh, let me just show you how uh, the number of nodes would be uh, getting reduced as far as I'm adding this uh, sort basically so let's start with adding sort moves only to the Nigamax which we've done just now so previously we had this 1 million nodes so let's see how many nodes uh, excuse me oh so yeah obviously we need to pass the move list pointer to to the sort most functions so move list like this so now we have uh, it only here with the Nigimax search and it should should already give us a uh, last note so you see like we had uh, we had 1 million nodes and now we have only 99,000 nodes which is kind of last number right and it takes less time to complete and if we now just go to our question search uh, yeah, question search and put the move sort in here as well. Now it takes only <laughs> one thousand notes. So can you can you believe this, guys? So we have one million notes, and after sorting only the captures, we already have this number of one thousand notes. So th this is quite pretty significant difference. Uh, you agree with me, right? So. <laughs> This is how the move over in work. Uh, that's that's kind of it. And we have obviously we have still the same move here, regardless of of nodes. So this is just a matter of the move over in. So we, we did search the same the best move, and it, when I add this principal variation uh, line here as well, so it it, it, it would be the same because but it just uh, makes uh, it doesn't uh, this move over in allowed us to. Have some early beta cutoffs, so we're reducing the number of tr nodes traversed overall to the search, search tree, search space. So eventually, we have only this 1,000 nodes tra tra traversed here. And even this is kind of too much, obviously. So we, we would be reducing this number as well later on. But for now, uh, everything that regards the move ordering uh, with a with a, with, a, with applied MVV LVA scoring this this these are the results that we now have so Now we can already go and try to search our position say the depth of three and It won't take ages like before so it goes quite pretty quite pretty fast Which is which is really good so we can even go for let's say depth of five It would now take some time, but still it's quite pretty Nice. So already, already five nodes, but we have only one hundred thousands compared to one million that we have in the depth of one. So uh, I believe that the difference is quite pretty significant, and hope you see this just just like I do, basically.
Well, okay guys, so this is it from my side regarding this video and mm, in the next in the next video we're gonna implement uh, a move ordering techniques two move ordering techniques for um, killer moves uh, for two sort quiet moves so first we'll go for killer moves uh, th those are the quiet moves for using the beta cutoffs and also his so-called history history moves so those moves that are increasing alpha within the uh, within the, within the Ningamax algorithm uh, and they would be ordered before uh, all the other moves basically so that's that's kind of it I'm not sure if it's worth also to show how in particular the ordered move list would look like well probably I will just just to give you, just to give you a clear clear example so that's kind of it okay guys so this is it from my side uh hope you uh, learned something interesting out of this t tutorial and i really hope to see you in the next one so until that time and take care